Alright guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be looking at a video that's gone viral and it's, it's circulating social media like wildfire, everybody's talking about it. So I thought, you know what, let's take some time out, sit down, drink some tea and have a look at this video to see what the fuss is all about. So let's jump right into it. All right, so uh, what's going on over here is this police officer uh, is asking a girl to get off the train because she had her feet on the seat or something or maybe she had her one foot on the seat and the police officer asked her to put her foot down and not on the seat. He said no. So the officer was like, nope put her down he asked her again she didn't do it and now the police officer like no get off the train and she like no I'm not gonna do it you know what I, I gotta ask what why why did you put your foot on the seat in the first place I mean why would you want to do it and when the police officer is asking you to put your foot down do it Real officer, please, no, please, no, no, no. officer, please, please, please stop doing this, officer. Please don't do this. I, I told you what to do. Officer, it's really not a big deal. Officer, it's really not a big deal. It was just chairs. It was just. Can we just take a moment to have a look at that girl's face? This is the face of a person who just realized, oh shit's gone real, and I'm knee deep in it. I mean, this girl is probably regretting her decision of not putting her foot down and now she's like oh crap <laughs> i mean uh, I, I just find the look on her face so funny because it's, it, that's the face of a person who was acting hard not not 10 seconds ago and now she's realized no i'm kind of messed up fu 140 give me a back at my location i'm at the uh the uh <laughs> westlake and park the park we got the, we got this where's her stuff at are you fucking kidding me right where's her stuff at I don't know where my shit is. You God. wouldn't let me get off the fucking train. How old are you? I'm 18. 18. He's taking me off the train for having my foot on the fucking seat. Okay, give me some space, guys. Now, I don't know whether a lot of people picked it up or not, but I just got to point it out. The moment this girl turned on and said that she's 18, the police officer doesn't have her in the arm lock anymore. He actually let her go. So I just wanted to point this little bit out, you know, because I sincerely doubt a lot of people are going to pick this up. They're just going to look at a police officer just manhandling an 18 year old kid, but they're not going to look at the fact that the officer actually let go of her the moment she said she was 18. So j just wanted to leave it over there, you know. What's your name, officer? Give me my shit. What's his name? Thank you. Of course. Badge number, sir. Badge number. Report. Badge number. Yes, sir. Badge number. Badge number. Shoot the badge number. We could get the badge number. All right. So, as the situation developed, we are now looking at this police officer, this 18 year old kid who has a lot of attitude um the guy who's filming it and some other woman who is off camera at the moment but apparently she's joined the fray as well come on you think you can do this yeah i can yeah of course you can you fucking asshole over her foot really what is going over on? her foot on the train that's so ridiculous actually it's not ridiculous and i'll tell you in a bit but it's not ridiculous because you're a fucking scumbag you're a fucking scumbag. That's, you're taking that's power really abuse right of power, there. officer. Over her train? Yeah, over yeah, over yeah. her foot on a seat? You know what? She I'm wasn't blocking anybody yeah, else from God, sitting I down? I was on that one at the DMV. I have to meet my mother to get my ID. Because I just turned 18. This is not fucking fair that you took me off the train because I had my foot there because I was comfortable like that. There is no law that tells me that I cannot sit that way. 
this is going to shock you there is a law that says you cannot put your feet on the seat um, I went on dailymail.co.uk and it says Metro's 28 page customer code of conduct states that placing feet or shoes on seats or furnishing is prohibited disorderly conduct which may be penalized with a warning and slash or ejection from the train so um, yeah there is a law that says that you cannot put your feet on the seat and guess what the police officer is just following the rules because i paid to be in there well guess what love you're not the only one who paid to be on that train a lot of other people paid for it as well the same people who are gonna end up sitting on the same seat where you had your feet on I mean, who knows what kind of things your feet stepped into. I mean, it could be mud, it could be puddle of water, it could be cow shit for all we know. But the fact is, you had your feet on the seat and when the police officer asked you to put your feet down, you didn't comply. Do you not think you're being disrespectful right now to the other passengers? Just so, you know, just for you to think about it. Why don't you ponder over that question? What's the fuck are the rules of the train? Tell me the rules. The rules. Am I not allowed? Give me the book. Where's the book at? Where's the book? Where's the book? I don't give a shit if you're not yeah, talking to me. This is not fair. No. Okay, I just want you to know that the police officer over here doesn't want to talk to the second woman at all. So uh, he's actually asking, you know, I don't want to talk to you, just move away. But the woman just keeps on per persisting, you know, she is adamant. She's adamant that she wants to be part of this. Right. Well, you're you're going to arrest me, me or what? Right? You're you threatening me right now? You're threatening me right now? I don't have any fucking idea. I was about to go to the DMV to get it. I'm not going to give you any space because you're not giving anybody respect right now. I'm not going to give you any space. Can we just take a moment to address the fact that they are talking about like, oh, you're not respecting me. Are you respecting the police officer? Do that 18 year old girl, were you respecting other passengers when you put your feet, when you put your foot on the seat over here? You're not respecting her. I should not be going to jail. Everybody knows that you're in the wrong way. Back up. Back away. I'm not going to back up. You're repeating my investigation. Back away. Investigation. Back away. Investigation to give you a penalty or something. I mean, I don't know how law works over there, but obviously you have been ejected from the train, so they need to take your details so they can properly like penalize you or something. Maybe issue a penalty notice. You're at a minority. I see right everything. Now. You back are picking at a minority. Yeah. You have to do what you like. Yeah. yeah. Listen. I don't have any form of ID. I don't have any drugs. I don't have anything that you can that you can arrest me for. Oh yeah, just because you're a person of color and the person who is questioning you happens to be a police officer who also happens to be white, suddenly it's about racism. Why am I not surprised? 2018, you continue to surprise me. My foot was on the chair. We've got a fucking complex do you have that you need to take me off the train when I pay for it. The red line, Park. Tell these people to go, they're waiting for me. This is unfucking fair. I don't care if I'm on the train, let them go. They also have shit to do, they have places to be, just like I did. And then you just took me on the fucking train track and put there. My name is Bethany Nava. And now we know her name. I'm 18 don't give years old. Don't give name. And now we also know her age. Again. Why not? You're, you're next, buddy. You don't, you don't deserve to be here. Tell me what to do. I'm not gonna tell you anything. You're all high on power right now because people are watching you. You're so good right now. This is great. Thank you. This is great. Oh, there's my train. I'm gonna shit. There's another one. There'll be another one and another one and another one. Okay, now we have a problem. See, she's not giving her address, so technically speaking, she is impeding the investigation conducted by the police officer. Just give him your address and that's that's it. But the other woman in the back, she's like, oh, you don't need to give your address. Like, I don't know exactly what the law states over there, but if the police officer is asking for your ID and you don't have it, chances are 
it will be ideal if you just give him your address. That's it. Especially when you don't have an ID to provide either. Okay, we all heard it. She said, take me to jail then. All right. Guess what's coming to you? There's no reason for you to take me to jail. You're take her to jail for putting her foot on the bus? Are you fucking kidding me? You really have nothing to do. Is it the end of the month? Or is it it is the end of the month. You need to meet your quota. You need to meet your fucking quota. So you know what? This is, this is fucking money for you right now. So let me get this straight. Police officers earn extra bonuses for arresting people? Sign me up for the job and I'll be arresting people left, right and center. This is money for you right now. You're just like ravishing in it. Just ravishing. Take us. Just beautiful. Take us. This is beautiful. What? I'm right here, man. I'm right fucking here. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave because I'm gonna stand up for my people no matter what. I will. I will. Yeah. I hope you feel great right now. Do you? So let's all give this man a round of applause, please, for arresting two women. Come on, yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> It's just funny that they're like, oh, let's get a round of applause. Woo! And nobody else is clapping. They're just looking at two idiotic women making a big deal out of something which shouldn't have been made a big deal out of in the first place, to be very honest. This is so great. This is so great. Are you happy? Yes. Yeah, great. Why wouldn't I be happy? Huh? I don't know. I mean... You don't got dick else to do. So this woman over here is saying to the police officer, you got nothing better to do. I mean, can I, we can ask this woman the same thing. Like, do you have anything better to do than to like have a go at police officers like that? Should, do you, do you not have a job to go to? Do you not have anything better to do in life? Probably don't. To just like sitting on the fucking train waiting for, waiting to bust somebody on some bullshit. This like can't be you. Yeah. This is great. It's good stuff. It's ridiculous. Where are your rebel friends now? Yo, did you hear that? She's like, where are your friends now? So in other words, I just want to point this out over here. Okay? This woman right now is feeling so empowered because you got two women over there. Obviously one guy who's filming all of this. So they actually have an advantage over here. Three to one. Just let that soak in you. And she's like, where are your friends now? It's like she's feeling a bit powered. Like, yeah, we got the numbers game over here. And I really hope that your future employers see this video because to be very honest, if you're having trouble following directions from a police officer when he rightfully asked you to put your foot down from the seat, chances are your employer is going to struggle with you as well following their terms and conditions, their rules. So I really hope your future employers see this video as well. No, you're gonna get arrested for impeding the police officer's investigation. See, if you had just given him your name, your details and everything, chances are they probably penalized you, they probably posted you a fine or something, and that was it, that would have been the end of it. The fact that you are not providing the right details, the, the fact that you're not providing details at all of yourself, you withheld, you're withholding information, that can be classified as an arrestable offense. Yeah, sure you were putting your backpack on. You know, I really feel sorry for the police officer right now because he has to put up with these two crazy ladies and uh, and the guy obviously recording everything. He has to put up with all these three of them. And who knows how many people are actually watching it off camera. He's actually outnumbered over okay? I actually feel sorry for him. Take her into custody. Take her into custody. He doesn't need to go into custody. This is an unfair... Pardon? Take her into custody. Oh. Her foot? Oh my god. Get off of me! This is ridiculous. Why is it bullshit? Because this is crap. She has her fucking hat. She has a fucking foot. She 
wasn't objecting anybody from sitting. This is racism. Oh yeah, because when everything else fails, rip out the racism card. Either that or you know, you're transphobic, you're homophobic, you're all these kind of like cards, you know, because they are supposed to help you. You know what, lady? I have no sympathy for you whatsoever. That was not your matter to interfere with, you know, in the start. This, this, you shouldn't have got involved in the first place. This is what we are. 2018 motherfuckers like this want to just try and act like they can do whatever the fuck they want. Because somebody needs to stop people like you from doing whatever they want. You guys, Fuck you. police officers in America shoot innocent people all the time. And this bitch right here is practically begging to get shot. And guess what? These police officers over here are playing it cool, man. I'm so disappointed. What? What? So many jackets. I mean, so many police over two women. I couldn't believe when the guy at the end said, so many jackets, so many officers for two women. Man, you sure as hell did not take into account that there was one police officer and there were three of you outnumbering him. So obviously, how does it feel now to have the numbers game played out against you? But anywho, I just wanted to react to the entire video. There's a little bit more at the end where, this, where the guy with the camera is like kicking off at the end. Obviously, he didn't say anything to the police officers at their face because he was a bit of a cuck. But uh, yeah, after they had left, he was like talking to other passengers, just telling them what happened. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to react to the whole thing, uh, the whole incident itself, not what happened after that. Because there's, there's this altered version of the same incident circulating social media. And it kind of makes out, the the way it's been edited kind of makes out that the police officer was in the wrong, that he shouldn't have arrested her. It doesn't show the part where he asked for her address, where he was just, you know, trying to talk to her, you know, where, it, you know, a little bit of start it has been edited as well. So I just wanted to react to the entire uncomplete, uncut thing. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, I think that 18 year old girl was clearly in the wrong when the police officer asked her to take her foot off the seat. She didn't do it. And obviously, you know, um, and then you got to get just then you just got to get ejected from the train. You know, you, just, you were just asking for trouble over there. And then obviously the other woman chimed in. I just got to say that this this just escalated way too much. All the girl had to do was put her foot down, not make a big deal out of it and look what's come down to. Uh, but yeah, that's that's enough for today. If you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Actually, please hit the subscribe button. I really need the subscribers. Man, YouTube is making it difficult for new YouTubers like me. You know, it, it just it just keeps getting hard. Uh, but yeah, that's enough for today. Have a good day and peace out.